Welcome back to Monkey Lock Picks. Today we are gonna try to pick open this uh, nice challenge lock pinned by Pygmy1977 called 400 from his uh, 400 videos giveaway. It's an uh, easy set. As you can see, pretty wide open keyway. It works really nice and smooth in both directions. So, let's clamp it up with the rise. And see if we can get this open. I'm gonna use a top of the keyway tension wrench and due to the beating on the key which is really challenging as you can see low high low high low I'm gonna use this homebrew the forest uh, diamond or uh, Maybe I would call it an, an hybrid because I hope you can see I put a little notch on the top to grab the pins. So let's see if it works with this lock. Really light tension. Binder for this binding, little turn on the core, click on five, another little turn on the core, a really slight fold set, nothing on three. Little click on two, little click on one, nothing on five, nothing on four, little click on three. Counter rotation on one. Let's slide it to the back. I reset for reset. Little click on three. Click on two. The rotation on one, okay. Doesn't seem to want to cooperate with me. Okay. Well, I got a little counter rotation on four, another click, and get back the full set. I'm using a really, really light tension. Ok, 
Okay, this was three. This was one. And we are open. Okay. Oof, that was a tough lock. I can tell it. Okay. Let's see what Pikmin 1977 put inside this lock. Okay. The spring doesn't want to come out, but that's not a problem. I'm going to shim it because I think we have something like a TP in chamber number three. Just perfect. So, there's a lot of work in all the chambers, but first let's see the pins. Number one is a spool, or no, it's a mushroom K pin. Number two is a nice serrated with a really sharp edges. Number three, another serrated. Number four was a T-pin with a tapered end. And number five is a nice, nice, nice serrated pin. We have undercut in chamber number one, threaded threads in 2, 3 and 5 and nothing in chamber number 4 that's really really nice work in this lock I think Pikmi put a lot of toss making this lock and let's see what we got upstairs In one we have a really sharp spool with a really long steel spring. Chamber number two we have It's a, a triple spool with serrations, really nasty pin, with a super tiny copper spring, in chamber number three, don't want it to come out, okay. A super serrated spoolish pin. I'll, I'll make you see it better to you in a minute. Okay, let's see from the other side. Chamber number three. 
to the number five. Oh my god. That's awesome. I don't know how many solutions are in this pin. Another tiny copper spring and number four, the last one. A kind of tapered pin with another long steel spring. That's a crazy lock, my friend. A really, really nice one. So let's see in the Bible. I don't think you can see. Okay, now it's better. We have threads in chamber five, three, and two, in two, three, and five. Nothing on one and nothing on four, as you can see. But let's take a look at the pins. This is something crazy. Look at these top pins. How many serrations they have? I can even number this one. One, two, three, four, five serrations. This one in chamber number three is serrated on top, a spool in the bottom part with the serrations. And look at this one with this uh, little. Uh, mushroom uh, style uh, spool uh, thing serration in the middle and this nice sharp edge on the top this one is a super spool with a nice sharp edge and these are the key pin this is a mushroom two three and five just like the threaded chambers are obviously threaded. And in chamber number four, we have a tapered key pin and a tapered top pin to make easy the overset while picking. Pick me, that was a really tough lock. I can tell you it was a lot of fun to me to pick it and uh, i want to thank you for uh, all you do and for this lock and for everything thank you guys for uh, joining me in this video i hope you enjoyed it and uh, i'll hope you to see you soon here on my channel please leave a comment if you want and uh, have a nice picking